Good morning, Ram Fam. And for today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the best builds to bring to Safi Jiva Siege coming up later today. Because this video is pretty late. I should have made this ages ago. But we're going to jump right into it. Now, this video is going to cover a uh, great sword, long sword, insect glaive, sword and shield, dual blades, lens, and light bow gun. Switch axe uh, can be pretty much carbon copy the insect glaive. Charge Blade, I don't personally recommend for Safi Jiva. And Heavy Bow Gun and Bow, I don't recommend either. Honestly, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna recommend you guys builds that I would use myself going fresh into Safi Jiva. In fact, this build you're looking at right now is the greatsword build we bring into Safi Jiva. And you'll notice a common trend with uh, most of these weapons. But uh, let's get right into it. Starting with Greatsword, this is a mixed set Greatsword build. Yes, if you're using Nergigante weapons, you don't have to worry about handicrafts, you don't have to worry about Master Such, so you can take advantage of mixing and matching so many different pieces of gear together. Um, and not only do you not have to worry about uh, maintaining a uh, sharpness with Master Such, but you also get Elder Seal, which a lot of people don't realize actually drains energy from Safi faster. And you have high Elder Seal on Nergante weapons. So honestly, I highly recommend Nergante weapons uh, getting into uh, Safi, Safi Jiva for the first time. Um, part Breaker is so important. Part Breaker, Part Breaker, Part Breaker. Make sure you have that on all of your builds. You'll also notice that I have three Fire Resist. Um, at 20, 20 fire resist, um, you will be immune to fire blight, which is super important. You will come to find out. Um, if you can't fit this in, it's okay. You'll survive. But um, having it is very, very nice. It's a very comfy build with tons of DPS, your part breaker, all that jazz. You know, it does take advantage of the new Stygian um, arm pieces. And it is also using the new peak performance charm. Uh, available from Runer and Argante. Tempered Runer and Argante. So I uh, get that. Longsword build is quite similar as well. Swapping out um swapping out the the Damascus chest piece. And uh also using a I didn't really have a coil to put in here. And there really wasn't I like, really couldn't think of anything else to put. You have a the only other option I could really think of is you could it might be possible to squeeze in four attack, but you would probably have to drop in one health, drop off one health. But the, the point of this build is for it to be as comfy as humanly possible for Safi, because the thing hits like a freaking truck. So here you'll have health boost to mind protection, three fire resists as well, long sword. Well, it's Nergante long sword as well. Don't have to worry about sharpness. You, I promise you, you will not run out of the sharpness. You, Safi transitions. Safi transitions three times. It transitions three times. Or, um, once... Yeah, three times. So, you will have plenty of opportunity to sharpen in between transitions. You will have plenty. I promise. Okay? So, uh, don't worry about that. Um, okay, next up we have, uh, the Insect Glaive build. This also... This also doubles as a Switch Axe build, so... Or if you want to use a switch axe, just um, because the power prolonger works um, for that as well. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm, but unfortunately, there's not that many good pieces of gear with power prolonger, so I'm using the power prolonger charm. But uh, yeah, this build works for insect glaive or switch axe, whichever you prefer. Uh, this next build here, uh, this build, um, this is an SNS build I made, an elemental SNS build I made for fun. I actually didn't make this specifically for Safi, but it kind of works for Safi. You're not gonna have a 100% crit, sadly. I just couldn't fit it in because of just the nature of, um, four-piece Silver Wrath, sadly. But, um, it's a, f it's a fun build. <laughs> it's fun. It'll do the job. It's got Part Breaker. It's got all the DPS you'll need. Um, it only has two health boost. This build, just recommend for fun. If I would probably just recommend the regular Nurigante, uh, sword and shield and just copy paste, uh, that copy paste the long sword build, honestly, just do that. 
Um, this is this was just a poor fun build. Um, some of these builds I actually had to make on um console, by the way, because I didn't have a didn't have some of the weapons available on um on PC. Uh, this dual blades build is kind of similar to the SNS build, uh, except it's um it is uh, some stacked ele dragon element as well, but it's a Nuriante uh Nuriante dual blades. Um, again, using Marathon Runner, using the Black, Bed, Black Belt Helm for a two Marathon Runner. You get that from Arenas. Um, level four and under or, uh, Arenas, Master Ink Arenas. So um, if you don't have that helmet, you're going to have to run a couple of those. Get some Black Belt Coins. That was the only helmet I found with Marathon Runner. <laughs> so, which is uh, very useful for dual blades. Um, yeah. Next up, we have Lance. I made like three different Lance builds, and honestly, this is the one I'm settling on. You honestly don't want to accidentally catch on fire using Lance because you're you don't want to have to sheath your weapon to get that to get that fire blight off of you. So I went with this one. <laughs> I went with this build. It's also the easier one to make. If you move some things around, you can have the four or five agitator. But honestly, comfy is better, especially if you're tanking with Lance. Uh, so this is my recommended Lance build, honestly. Guard Up will help you block all of his Saki Jeeva's beam attacks and its ground explosions. If you don't have Guard Up, you probably shouldn't be using Lance. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the final build right here. This is a build... Uh, this is a build that um, a mod in my chat came up with. Um, and this is basically just kind of a pre-Aqua Shot build until you make that. It's a rapid fire elemental light bow gun. The this bow gun also this is the Lunastra Sticks bow gun so that so it also has a spare shot on the gun itself, so you don't have to get used to the charm. Um, Max might uh, a lot of people don't realize is really good for light bow guns since you're not using stamina, so that'll add thirty percent affinity right there. Uh, it doesn't quite hit a hundred percent affinity. And it'll, it'll hit a nine. It'll hit ninety percent affinity when Agitator is up, but um, it is also using two piece Velcana for crit element. Unfortunately, Silver Rat just cannot hold all of the skills you need to make a Safi build. Sadly, you would have to drop Heartbreaker. You wouldn't have any health boost. It would be all around a very, very <laughs> lacking build. This build is already lacking crit boost itself, so uh, once uh, once Safi gear comes out and the Aqua Shot comes out, you'll be able to make a lot more versatile builds. In fact, I have those builds in another video if you want to check out um, Endgame Safi Jiva Light Bow Gun builds. I have another video for when they first came out on console. But this is uh, this is probably the Light Bow Gun build I'd recommend, courtesy of My Creepy Romance, by the way. Um, but uh, that is it. Um. These may not be the best builds for you, but I built them as comfy as possible. I hope that you, um, I hope that you found all, some of these builds useful. Um, if you have your own builds, recommend them in the chat. If you like these builds, drop a, drop a comment, drop a like, drop a sub. Um, there's so many other weapons to cover, so many different builds you can bring into Safi. Most important thing you need to know, Heartbreaker, Health Boost for survivability, and if you can, get some Fire Resist because... You will learn the hard way that you don't want to be on fire for too long. Okay, um, until next time, uh, see you in the Safi G in the Safi Jiva Siege. Follow me on Twitch. We'll be doing doing Safi Jiva Siege all weekend for twenty four seven. I'll be making more build videos, uh, more guide videos, all that jazz. Uh, until next time, until next time, guys. Uh, happy hunting, and uh, see you on Twitch.